Hey everybody, it's Emily the Crazy Worm Lady. I'm here today with the sand and eggshell bins for an update. Um, unlucky for you guys, I lost my tripod for my camera, so I apologize if I'm shaky. I'm really trying not to be. Um, it's very hard when you're digging around. But I wanted to see how the worms were doing in here. This is our sand bin, and I highly doubt that anything is left from where we fed last week, which was over here just looks like a lot of caked up bedding and there are some worms in there but not very not very many and the bedding just completely matted down that's the problem when you use solely shredded newspaper but there are still a good number of worms I want to see if they're spread throughout I'm sorry my the sun is actually coming through my window and it's creating a little bit of a funny glare so I apologize for that But the, the castings in here are beautiful. You see worms of all sizes. Couldn't ask for anything better. There's definitely some springtails and all, but that's very normal for my, my systems. Not a problem at all. I'm not seeing cocoons immediately. But again, somewhat neglected bin right now. It's been like two, maybe even three weeks there's a cocoon since I've been in here. So these guys definitely need a feeding today. Um, but what I am encouraged by is how well they are working through what they have. Um, the newspaper always seems to take a while. And since it was so matted down, that's going to take them a little bit longer. So I'll have to try to spread that out as best I can. Try to kind of mix it through the material. So it's a little bit easier for them to break it down. But I'm going to um, get them some food. We'll feed this bin first, and then we'll go over and take a look at the eggshell bin and do the same thing over there. So I got a nice big area cleared out here, and I have got a huge container, two and a half quarts of dried bedding. This is fibrous bedding. It is a mix of coconut core and peat moss leftovers after I had... Um, process through it so there's some kind of stick like woody pieces almost but this is going to add a lot of bulk to this bin and it's going to be highly absorbent because the uh feeding that i have for these guys is ultra ultra wet so um i need to make sure that i have plenty of absorbent material so this is a blended mess here i'm going to give half to each bin it's got a little bit of everything in it Bananas, sweet potatoes, uh, peas, um, apple cores, orange peels, you name it. It was quite the array. Ugh, gross. I'm trying to look, there's measuring markers in my container. I have this in is how I'm measuring it. I'm not weighing to the ounce, but I'm doing it by volume here. So that smells absolutely rancid. I'm going to kind of mix some of this bedding in a little bit with it because that the um, blended food also sometimes can have a tendency to dry out and mat down but I think this should be fine so this is a full scoop almost of our sand and I'm just going to cover it back up with the existing castings sand dust flew up on me okay so then I'll just lay our newspaper cover across the top here. I think the moisture should be good. Um, that fibrous bedding, I definitely think will help. So um, let's go over and take a look at the uh, eggshell bin. Okay, and here we are with the eggshell bin. Same deal over here, I don't expect much since they haven't been fed in quite some time. And it does look to be pretty much the same. They're just having some matted down bedding in the area, but everything else looks really nice and healthy. It's incredible how like cardboard's fine, but if it's solely newspaper, you end up with so many issues with matting up and taking a long time to break down. 
There's a cocoon. Lots of babies, so we know we're definitely having cocoons hatching, which is super exciting. Again, I mean, to me, it, it still looks pretty close between the two. There's another one. So I can't say for sure yet what my opinion is on the matter because both of the bins are doing really, really well. Another cocoon. It's, it's looking really, really nice and healthy. So we're gonna do the same thing, get these guys fed up with some of this lovely blended stuff and add some coconut core peat mix and uh, leave these guys for another week and hopefully I'll be more timely in my update next week and we can really get a feel for how many worms we have when they're all congregated around the food. Okay, so same deal, bedding. Lovely, thick, fibrous stuff. Gonna kind of hollow out some area in the middle here. Put the rest of our food. Oh, that is gross. Still got a little bit left here in the bottom. I'll get out. Chunky, wet goop. It's perfect for the worms. Mix a little bit of this bedding in the middle to hopefully avoid it uh, getting compacted. Don't breathe in the eggshells, guys, so stand back if you're putting in your eggshells. And I'm just going to cover everything back up with the existing bedding here, and I am breathing in the eggshells. Sorry. Whew. There's a lot of eggshell dust. Okay. Cover it all back up, and then we will cover it with our newspaper covers. So that's going to be it for this week, guys. Uh, I will be more timely next week because I think we're going to have a major party on our hands. I look forward to it a lot. So let me know what you think. Drop those comments below. Like this video. Subscribe if you'd like some more content from me and I'll be back with you guys real soon for an update. Have a great day.